Hello there, I am Giant Quoven with Pokemon Ruby Redo. In the last part, we took on our dad, Neumann, at the Pedal Book City Gym. And then uh, we got the bounce badge from him in the TM uh, for Facade. I don't remember what number it was. But uh, we taught Facade to uh, to Fighter. And uh, we also went surfing and we got the HM03 surf from Wally's dad. Um, and we also got the Amulet Coin after we beat... Um, the balance, we got the balance badge from our dad. We also got the TM36 Switch Bomb, taught that to, taught that to Metroid. And then we tried a Ground Cape puzzle, but I couldn't do it because, uh, I couldn't see the cracked four patterns on, because I didn't have a Pokemon that knows, could win Flash. Even on my PC, I didn't have a Pokemon that could win Flash. So maybe I'll do that again off screen or something. I think I'm missing out on Rare Candy so far. Um, as for, uh, I, I ended up just using a Reviver and a Super Potion on Smokey because I tried healing off screen and when I came back, like, these stupid tentacles kept on annihilating my team on the way back. So I just decided to just finally use one of my revives and use a Super Potion. So yeah, I, I had 8 and now I have 7. Um, I'm trying to think if I forget anything. I don't think I did, but yeah. Uh, Smokey's still level 29, everyone else is level 30. Let's take on this, uh, swimmer right here. Who's, uh, swimming laps in a square, like I said in the last part. My dream is to swim with the world's seven seas. That's a good dream. I, th I think that's doable if you train enough and if you have enough, like, worth eth work ethic and, you know, patience, I guess. Here's some male, uh, Jerome. Jerome's a cool name. He is a tentacool. Okay, uh, not tentacool, but tentacool. Okay, let's just buy some. Oh my gosh. Bulbal Beam is going to be super effective. I mean, like, I should have just switched up because Smoke is almost still level 30 anyway. What's up? I'm hoping the body some will make, maybe faint it. I don't know. Maybe put in the reds. It fainted. Awesome. I got my wish. Nice. So Smoke is not level 30. Awesome. Smoke is trying to have flamethrower. Awesome. Trying to win one of the moves which, which should be forgotten. Let's get rid of, um, Smog, honestly. We don't need Smog anymore. Smoky now knows flamethrower. That's awesome. Smoky forgot Smog and. Smoky one, flamethrower, nice. And I think he yeah, has in that Pokemon cool. Let's uh, switch to Spoink. Because Spoink has Shockwave and Wingo is water flying, so it's four times with Delish type moves. So that's pretty cool. Let's go for the Shockwave. Wingo is now level 26. Uh, no, Wingo is level 26 in the male, is what I meant to say. The Wingo goes down. And Twitch is now level 31, awesome. First Pokemon which is the level 31. Nice. In my party at least. Uh, player defeated Swimmer Male Jerome. Uh, I wasn't- I won't be able to swim the 7 seas like this. Aw, uh, don't give up on your dream. It's a good dream. Thanks for the 208 Poké Dollars. So yeah. Smokey and okay, we'll so basically just switch Twitch with Fighter and I guess Geico with uh, Smokey. Yeah. Cool. Here's the abandoned ship. I'm gonna take on this swimmer female first, though. Is there an item in the rock over there? Let me just go check real quick. Unless you can't um, get off on that little, like, oh, I don't even know the word for, like, those little islands that are, like, well, it's not really an island. It's just, like, an area you can stop at, but there's still water that you can, like, that goes up to, like, maybe your top of your shoes or something. I don't know. Halfway up your shoes. Let's go for the, let's put another super pole on. I'm running low on super pole, so that kind of stinks. But at least the shoe should have to go to, enough to go to sleep point. No hidden item in this rock? I thought there would be a hidden item in this rock. But I guess not. So let's take on this one more female real quick. Um, I have a guy cut front. I hope they see I forget all my worries when I swim. That's good to know. Good for you. Here is some more female, uh, Missy. Almost, uh, almost thought that was Misty. Like, you know, Misty from the anime and Pokemon games, you know. But it's not. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. This Goldene is level 24 and female. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Here goes the Goldene. Nice. Okay, I have a Wingo next. Okay, cool. It's, uh... I think Leaf Blade will be neutrally effective because it's, you know, Wingo is water and flying, so... Let's we'll see how much this does. I want to get. Oh, it's still okay. Awesome. Nice. Meryl. Okay, I'm just using Leaf Blade on all our Pokemon so far, really. It's like my best grass type move for on Geico right now. <laughs> or I should say it's Geico's best move right now for uh, grass type. Yeah, pretty much best. Yeah, because there's Bolt Seed, and then there's Quick Attack, and then there's Pursuit, I believe. So yeah, Leaf Blade is definitely the best uh, move Geico has on himself right now. 
So we almost level for male. So yeah. It's gonna suffer the same fate of getting a leaf blade though. Uh, I meant to say uh, this one was level 24 and female. I think I said male before. So I wanted to correct myself if I accidentally said male. We defeated some more female Missy. When I lose a battle, I get all stressed out. I'm sorry. Thanks for 192 pocket dollars. Hope you feel better. Sorry for stressing you up. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. This is the abandoned ship, but look. Look at the entrance and look at our sprite. Like, the scaling for, like, Mr. Briny's boat and then now the abandoned ship is kind of weird, honestly. But yeah, here's the abandoned ship. Let's go inside. Um, I think, I think there's an item in here. I'm empty. Okay, maybe there's just an item. I like the music in the abandoned ship. I don't want to talk to you. You don't battle me, probably. So yeah, it's gone to the down level, I guess. Now this door will be locked. We'll have to unlock it, and at the end of the um, at the end of the um, abandoned ship, we get to this puzzle. Storage it is painted on the door. Okay. Ah, uh, this is sale. Okay, cool. I was trying to go in that room that I was trying to face that I was facing, but whatever. When you go out to the sea, we sailors always bring our Pokemon. How how about a quick battle? Why not? Let's battle. So there's Sailor Duncan, cool. He has a Whammer, level 26. That's just great, man, that's just great. Let's go for the Leaf Blade. Okay, the Whammer goes down, awesome. Okay, because level 31, awesome. And Choke, okay. We'll switch to, um, Skarmory, I guess. Skarmory! Okay, let's go for the air cutter, I guess. It hits, awesome. And it's super effective. Yeah, it puts in the red health. Okay, cool. Let's do Seismic Toss. That'll do 26 HP. Seismic Toss always does the equivalent to the Pokemon's level that's using it. So that did 26 HP on Screamo, I guess. You could say. Oh, there we go. Nice. Swift finish it off, though. Yeah, we defeated Sour Duncan. Cool. Whoops, I say I'm su I'm sunk. Sorry, man. Thanks for 1,664 pocket dollars, though. I think you have to use dive in here or something, or maybe there's an item in this trash can. Nope, of course not. What about you? What if I talk to you? Or if I'm getting quite queasy just to board the ship. It's not even moving, but okay. Yeah, I think in the next one we can use dive, but dive is the nature and we'll get. Uh, I think after the sunshine badge or so. Yeah, we can't even use. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't even. Use dive yet because I don't even have the HM even. So let's switch uh, Geico and Screamo, I guess. Is there anything in here? I think that, yeah, there's an item. Awesome. It's a escape rope. Makes for the, makes up for the one we used in Granite Cave. A couple, I think, yes, the last part actually. So yeah. Cool. What's in here? Another item. Cool. Here's a dive ball. Very worth, uh, picking up. It's, it works well in Pokemon you get when you're underwater. Like a Quamp Pearl or a, a Chin Chow or something like that. Yeah, this is a perfect place to go exploring. It's exciting here. I bet there's amazing treasures on board. There is actually. You're right on that. I'm empty. Okay, the trash can says I'm empty. <laughs> it says it, it just says it's empty. Yeah. Here's a tuber. Uh, yes, it's a ship. Yeah, it is a ship. Let's go in this room. I think this is a... Yeah, okay, that just swoops around. Connects. Okay, cool. Let's go up a level now. And I think there's a trainer that, the tuber that goes around and battles you, but I'm gonna grab this item first to revive. Wakes up the one I use Don Torkel off screen. So yeah, it's empty, okay? That trash can's empty. Okay, it's a double battle. I think I have fired up in the second slot. Oh, so we were looking for some treasure, but we found a trainer. We only found a trainer. Let's battle then. I'm sorry that you find, didn't find any trainer. So yeah, or, or didn't find any treasure though. You found a trainer, of course you did. But yeah, here's a young couple. I forgot to read their names though. Okay, so let's go for the air cutter and the rock tomb on Il Muse or whatever, how do you pronounce it? Il Muse are kind of like Il Muse and Volbeat or whatever, how do you pronounce their names? It's kind of like Puzzle Mine, they work really good as a team, but uh, in the decent, I guess, um, solo wise, but I've never used one, honestly, because they could be probably horrible, and I could be totally wrong on that. Yeah, but fire a good level 31, awesome. So I'm not really for sure on that. Oh, Il Miseo, have you pronounced the name? Oh my gosh. You restored health with, uh, with, uh, Moonlight. That's cool, yeah. Great, good for you. But you fainted, sorry. Way to go, Screamo and Fighter. 
We defeated young couple Lois, Lois, and Hal. Oh, wow, you're strong. Thanks for the 3456 Pocket Oise, though. Really appreciate it. So, uh, I fired a good level 31 in that battle, so like, half my Pokemon level 30, half my Pokemon level 31. Awesome. So yeah, there's this super guy that, um, walks around this whole air this whole little section, cabin, I guess. This is what's me and halfway and battle him. What's so funny about having a tube take a tube aboard the ship? I never said anything f I never said anything to trouble you. Um, it's actually kind of cool to have it in a tube, uh, while you're on board, because you never know if the, you know, like, boat will sink or something, you know? It's always good to be prepared, I guess. Screamo, yeah, okay, I guess it's male, it's level 37, and uh, it's level 27, it's male. Cool. Let's just air cut on this thing. Yeah, okay, just a little bit of half, that's good. It's gonna use bubble be on screen mode, but it's not gonna be very effective, or is it gonna be neutral effective? I forget. It's gonna be neutral effective, okay, cool. Air cut it again, this should take out the Meryl. And critical, awesome. Nice. We defeated Tuber Charlie. Whoa, you've, you've overwhelmed me. I'm sorry for that. Thanks for 216 Poké Dollars. Hope you feel better. Okay, let's go to the next room. My perfect off right there. That's actually a good time to wear off. Um, I think we can go back here later and help him find the whatever he needs. But this sh this scientist says I'm investing this ship on. I'm investing. I'm investigating the ship on behalf of Captain Stern. He also asked me to find a scanner, but I have any success. I think you find the scanner by find it using dive. I don't think you need to give him the scanner to progress in the game or to like advance in the game. Same thing, really. <laughs> so I'm gonna skip out on that side quest unless I don't, unless I actually have to do it. But as far as I know, I don't think you have to look for the scanner. I think he gives you like an item or something. But uh, I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I actually played this game, honestly. Up to this point, actually. At least this point of the game. We got the storage key, so we can actually open that door, this door right here, and that was locked up before. Yeah, Steven inserted the, and turned the storage key, the, the, the inserted key struck, stuck fast, but the door opened. Click, and then now it's open, cool. And look, it's the TM for Ice Beam, TM13, awesome. So we're gonna teach that to Metroid, actually. So yeah. Let me look up, let me pull my notes for my final movesets for my Pokemon real quick. Let me do that, ah, jeez. Okay, so time to cool. It's final moves. It's gonna be Sludge Bomb, Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, and Surf, which I think I mentioned before. Uh, it's empty. Okay, I should check and make sure I didn't miss out on an item in the trash can. So let's use that TM on uh, on Metroid. Yeah. Yeah, boost up TM. It contains, it contains Ice Beam. Teacher's Beam to Pokemon. Yeah, Metroid's able to learn, of course. That's good. What are you doing for Move should move be placed in. Should move be deleted and replaced with Ice Beam? Sure. Which move should be forgotten? Uh, let's get rid of... Uh, hmm, okay, so it's final moves that's gonna be Sludge Bomb, Hyper Beam, Ice Beam, and Surf. So I can't get... I don't wanna get Ice Beam rid of Surf or Sludge Bomb. So, I think I'm gonna get rid of Acid. Yeah, I think I'm just, Acid's probably the weakest link. Weakest link, cause I kinda still keep Bubble Beam, honestly. One, two, and poof. Metroid forgot how to use Acid. And Metroid learned Ice Beam. Cool. That's awesome. Good for us. Who would I have up front again? I know there's no more trainers in the abandoned ship. I'm just, okay, Skarmory. Okay, cool. Screamo, nice. Screamo, my Skarmory. Okay, we're at one, one, 108 again. We're at 108. Let's use Surf. I think, we, yeah, Repel off, so let's use another Repel. I already battled that, uh, coach, that summer female trainer down there you saw for a second. So, uh, let's move on. Is there an item in this rock? Let me check. Yes, there is. It's rare candy. Awesome. I'm glad I checked because it's another rare candy. Awesome. So I think we have nine rare candies now. Let me check after I get more Metroid and you surf again. Where's that item right here? <laughs> I'm so I'm so I'm so like excited with all these rocks because there's good there's a chance to have good items there. I guess like the rare candy. We have nine rare candies, right? Um, we go down to my Pokemon list. We have uh, nine rare candies. Uh, I still haven't used one of my um, soda pops I got way back in the seashore house back in the Slayport Beach, basically. So yeah, is there an item in that rock over there? Let me see. I'm gonna do a swift move where I just surf and then go up. Yeah, there we go. Nope, no, no hidden item there. It's always good to check. I always, I guess, if you're curious and you want like to find items and stuff, like for right here. Ah, oh, dang it. No item in here. I guess not. Nope. Okay, I'm just I'm just going crazy with checking all these rocks, you know. I'm kind of getting excited and stuff. Here's the swimmer. Let's battle him. 
just talk to him. Oh, wait there, are you going out to the abandoned ship too? I was actually finishing, I actually just finished up exploring that ship, the abandoned ship, so I'm all done with that. Swimmer male on Matthew, see that Carvana, okay, cool. Carvana is dark and water type, by the way, if I did already mention that. Let's go for the air cutter. It has high defenses, so let's see how much this does. Oh, cool, oh, it wasn't even critical hit, wow. Nice, way to go, Screamo. <laughs> we feed Swimmer male Matthew. I'm sinking, Glub Glub, I'm sorry, I'll save you. Don't tread water, man, you can do it. You're a swimmer, you know how to swim. Oh, I maybe got. Like, he's perfectly fine, he's just standing still, so he's not drowning anymore, so that's good. That's good, okay, yeah, uh, he's right 109. Here's a double battle. Who do I have in my, in my second sword? I think I have. Okay, Metroid, cool. So, yeah, let's uh, talk to um, Mel. I think this is another young couple, if I already guess. We we're like totally in love. Our months is heating up all over her We'll see about that. I'm not sure about that, but let's battle. We'll see about that. Jeez, I said the wrong thing first. Okay, yeah, uh, this is young couple Mel and Paul. Okay, since that dust talks and beautify. Cool. Oh, cool. Air card hits both of the Pokemon in double battle. So yeah, an air card is super effective. Let's go for the um, a Surf, I guess. Surf and air card will hit both of them. Oh no. Well, since the be since the dust talks use protect, it protected itself, which kind of stinks. So yeah, the beautiful is always gonna be a hit. Dang it! Oh well. Okay, yeah, the dust ducks protected itself, but the air cutter still hits the beautiful. Nice. Like it's the beautiful, nice. Let's go for the air cutter again and surf. Same moves. That time the dust ducks wasn't able to use uh, protect unless it didn't use protect, so that's good. And this air cutter should take out the dust ducks, and it does. Awesome. Screaming good love 31, awesome. Yeah, we defeat young couple Mel and Paul. Mel says, we lost, it's my fault. Paul will hate me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wreck your relationship. Thanks for the 3,456 poker dollars though. So now that uh, Screamo is level 31, we'll switch around our Pokemon yet again. So let's go with, let's go with the Metroid actually, because Smokey is weak against Water type Pokemon right now. Because it's a fire, well, well not right now, always because it's a fire type Pokemon. Here's a fisherman. Uh, waha, this dude's gonna, going to catch himself a big one. That's good to know. I'm glad you feel really happy about yourself. So this is a uh, fisherman Carter. Cool. Isn't that tentacool? Um, let's go for the surf. I, th I know it's not gonna be very effective, but maybe we don't want to kill it. Nope, of course not. Don't we do one third? Okay, of course. Supersonic mist. That's good. Surf again, I guess. It's in the red's health now. That's awesome. Let's use poison sting. Good thing Metroid can't get poison because it's half poison, so it's immune to poison. Let's go for the uh, ice beam, I guess, to finish it off. That's not very effective. Jeez, not the best matchup, but we still get the job done with that tentacle. Yeah, okay, maybe I want to switch. Well, I know these tentacles probably have bubble beam. Except for maybe this one. I think my, I think tentacle wins bubble beam at like level, 20, level 25 or something like that. Yeah, okay, this is going to be a slow battle, but that's okay. Super Sonic Mist, that's good for us. And uh, yeah, this should bring it down in the reds, I think. Yeah, there we go, nice. And again, we're going to go with another um, ice beam to finish it off, hopefully. So yeah, let's go for the ice beam. I like the battle animation for Ice Beam, it looks pretty cool. It always kind of looked cool, even in the Gen 1 it looked cool. Yeah, way more, okay. Nice. So we'll use Sludge Bomb on this thing now. So this one was level 24 in male. Cool. Good, good, awesome. Tentacle, okay, so I see tentacles in a way more. That's pretty cool. Fisherman Carter, you're about to lose though. I'm I have the upper hand. I'm on the high ground. I have the high ground. <laughs> As Obi-Wan Kenobi would say in Star Wars, uh Revenge of the Sith. I have the high ground. I think that's what he says. I might I might be messing up that quote, honestly. I'm sorry for any of my people who are watching who are Star Wars fans. I may I may have just butchered that quote quote or something, you know. I didn't mean to, I'm sorry. Let's see as uh, <laughs> if I did yeah, butcher it. But yeah, let's just ice beam on this tentacle. It goes down, awesome. 
Yeah, nice. The shipping. Yeah, oh my gosh, I wanted to make sure I double up so bad there. Okay, we defeated Fisherman Carter. This dude just to last one. Sorry, man. Looks like a thousand pocket dollars though. Let's move on. I think there's a couple more trainers we can battle, but maybe just two more if I'm guessing. If I already guess, um, there's a swimmer and a female swimmer and a oh an item. Nice. Let's grab it. PP up, boss. I'm gonna put that on my PC for later. That's like our fifth PP up of this project, probably or the playthrough. Playthrough project, you know, essentially the same thing. My well, project's like what I classify as like my YouTube um, categories of like games I play, um, and then. And then, uh, playthrough is like playing through a game, you know, just your playthrough of the game. So they're kind of different, actually. Are you pop are you properly protected against the sun? My character doesn't get sunburn in the game. I usually wear sunblock anyway in real life when I go to the beach or something or the pool. I like the spray on uh, sunblock, though. It's way really, it's fast and easy, and it gets the it gets the job done, honestly. But that's just me. That's my opinion. But yeah, this Goldine is level twenty-five and female. Cool. Yeah, almost when it kills it. Awesome. Let's uh, finish it off with a bubble beam. Yeah, fire power is weak, and I'm not planning on using fire fire type moves against this Goldine anyway. So jokes on the Goldine. That I got stop affected, but it fits the Goldine. So that's what I wanted. Yeah, so now Metroid is level thirty-one. And yeah, Wingo's next. Okay, we'll switch to uh, Smokey. Even though Smokey has a... It's Wingo probably knows Water Gun, but I think Smokey can take down this Wingo. Yeah, let's see here. Um, let's move on through right here. Okay, yeah. Let's go for the Body Slam. Let's gonna use Water Gun and super effective on Smokey. Ah, man, that did a decent chunk out, actually. Did like one-fifth of it. Uh, Smokey's max HP. But the body slam takes out the wingles, which is good. And then a goldine. Okay, cool. I choose a body slam on this thing. Let's get his horn attack on Smokey. It only does five HP. That's good for us. This goldine is level twenty-five and female, and it's put in, we put in the red health. So it's a it's a reason to buy some just to be safe. So this will, yeah twenty HP. That time I did six HP on Smokey, but the goldine goes down with another bolt uh, with another. I must say bolt seed, but I said it right there. <laughs> But with another um, body slam, I mean. Yeah. Play to feed somewhere else. Cool. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Thanks for the $200. I'm sorry that you're hurting right now. I didn't mean hurt you. Okay, so an item up oh, there's actually a. Um, you can battle one of these tubers, I think. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, I can't swim without my inner tube, but I won't lose that Pokemon. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, so I actually have um, I actually have Metroid up on still. Okay, I forgot to switch to uh, Torkoal and stuff or Smokey. I'm gonna finish this mail with an Ice Beam. See how much this does. It should faint it all, honestly. There we go, nice. Okay, yeah, we defeated two Bird Cameron. Carmen or uh, is it Cameron or Carmen? Did I lose because I have an inner tube? No, you didn't. I was just a little bit better. I'm sorry. You'll get better through time and training and stuff. So uh, let's switch um, Metroid with Smokey. Probably gonna do the switchy trick because Smokey has one HP anyway. Hey, hey bi hi, big trainer. Want to battle with me? Sure. Oh, okay, so both of these inner tube tubers uh, b battle you. That's kind of cool. Tuber Gwen would like to battle. And then Mario will get level 27. Cool. Let's go for the body slam. I think I may be able to use Smokey to win this battle. I'm, I'm risking it, but like, you know, Smokey could get fainted, you know, if he uses water gun or something. Nope, okay. Let's hope Smokey can. Yeah, cause Smokey held. Smokey held on. Yay, we did it. Smokey, you did it. You beat a Meryl. Nice, okay. Two big run, yeah. Could we be two big run? Or we defeat two big run? Oh, you're strong. Thank you. Thanks for 108 Pocket Dollars. I think this is their mom, actually. Little kids can dart around so quickly. You don't dare take your eyes off them for an instant. It's very taxing. Mine's with my Pokemon, so they should be okay. But she doesn't sound very confident, but yeah. I think there's one more trainer here. It's this swimmer, I think. Yeah, right here. Let's take him on. Uh, I uh, look at the my, ch my chestled abs. This is what you can call cut. <laughs> Interesting. Cool. All right. He worked hard for those apps, probably. 
Yeah, so Smokey and Wingle. Okay, so let's switch to uh, we'll switch to um, Twitch. I guess because Twitch has Shockwave. So then it's four times. Then Wingles have four times week to get to um, watch that moves anyway. So gonna use Mist. Okay, that's cool. Let's go for the Shockwave. It hits awesome like it's supposed to in the situation, and it goes down. The Winkle goes down. Nice. Carvana. Okay, let's switch to um, we'll switch to Smokey still. Okay, this Carvana is probably like level 23, 25. Okay, no, level 26 as well. Okay, let's go for Geico, I guess, because I'm gonna plan on Geico using Leaf Blade here. Well, because I'm just gonna try to raise his chance of getting a critical hit. We gotta knock this thing out fast before it gets a critical hit on us. Even though I'm not that worried about getting like a critical hit on my Pokemon, but it's still nice to knock it out quick. So it's out of the way. There we go, Carvana. Yeah, it goes down one hit. Awesome. Rough skin. Ooh, yeah. Forgot about that ability. Yeah. Okay. We defeated Swim Male David. I have, I I uh, flubbed out. Thanks for 208 Poké Dollars. You'll get better, man. It's okay. I think that's it for the trainers. But I'm gonna pull off some. I'm just gonna try to get on the beach real quick so I don't have Wild Pokemon. Now, uh, do I have to buy? I think the I think the Sleepwood City only uh, sells regular pals. But let me just double check real quick because I want to buy more pals honestly because I need more. Um, is there anything I want to sell there real quick? Uh, let me see here. No, okay, I'll put the PP up on my PC though. When I go heal my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. Um, repels. Yeah, you just have to repels. How many, how many super repels do I have right now? Because I, I have enough to get to like Mavo or something, that'd be great. And I also forgot to get, um, the charcoal, which is held item in a, in, um, what was it? Uh, Fe uh Leverage Town. So I would go back and get that off screen. But I have to go up the cable car and to Mount Chimney again to get to Forbert, to get to, uh, not Forbert Town, but, uh, Leverage Town. So I'll make sure I do that. I, I didn't check how many super potions I have. Shoot. Okay, yeah. Let's see here, I have five. That should be enough for now, I guess, to get to Marvel City. Because I want to get to a place that sells super repels, honestly, because they're better than super repels. So I'm going to put the PP up in my PC and heal my Pokemon, so I'll be right back. Okay, did I mention I like the Slayport music a lot? <laughs> I love the Slayport music. It's probably my favorite music of the whole game, honestly. It's really catchy and uh, it has a nice beat. Um, actually, to avoid the tall grass, I'm going to actually go through Cycling Road. So let me get on my bicycle. Yeah, there we go. So I don't actually have these super repels then. That's actually where you can avoid the uh, route under the cycling road where there's tall grass. So just go up the cycling road if you already have a bike. I'm gonna try better not to, cl to quite a lot. Try my best. Oh shoot, I <laughs> ran into the wall again. I think there's a trainer back here. Like that, you'd think that like you couldn't go in here. Okay, if they can't just mess back here. But there's actually a psychic trainer right there. So I forgot to show her off. So I guess I'll show her for now. She probably just has a couple abers, honestly. But yeah, here's a psychic. Aha! I'll dazzle you with my wonders. Okay. Okay, psychic giants. Oh, I forgot to get the rare candy under the bridge of second road. I have to go back and get that. I can still get it easily though. Let's go for the um, flamethrower. Try out a new move. This app is only level 16, so 14 levels higher than it. This app is level 16 in male, by the way. So flamethrower hits, and let's see how much it does. It one kills it. Awesome. Nice. We defeat. Okay, you just have one ever. I think J Jadeson or something. I can't. I didn't really read your name that well. I think it started with a J E D or something. I wondrously lost. Thanks for the 384 Poke Dollars, though. It's okay, you'll get better. You should have all of your Aberrant to Cadabra, though, honestly. Okay. So you can actually surf right here. I'm gonna get off my bike, bike up with cool. And that's actually where New, Va New Marvel City is. New, New Marvel is. It's like a basement where the generator is, but we'll get to that like fairly soon. Probably in the next part. Um, I would put a pill on though to um, avoid running into wild grass. Okay. So I should be able to get my 10th of our candy right now. So if I put my cards right. I think you have to surf a certain area under the bridge though, under the route of a uh, under cycling road. The run around here and again you can get like a lot of items here that are hidden as long as you, if it help if you use the item fighter that may gave you when uh she battled her for the second time right around this area actually was when you battled her so yeah let's just surf now that we can just surf 
And uh, here is a uh, rare candy, I believe. So yeah, our 10th rare candy, awesome. Nice. Let's, uh, yeah, let's use stuff again. Nice, I love the surfing music a lot. I didn't like how you surf so slow in Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, but I didn't like Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald, you surf so fast, I mean, that's awesome. But it's whatever, get, the Pokemon games change it, you know, every year and whatnot, or every new installment, I should say. So let's put another Pearl on, I guess, even though it's only, like, a couple steps, but still. I don't want to, I don't want to run into po wild Pokemon. Okay, so, um, does this might sell Super Pearls? I don't think it does, but maybe... Ah, oh, dang it, I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to go out of it, jeez. Okay, you saw Watson probably there for a split second. He's outside the gym, by the way. Um, let's see here. You don't even sell repels at all, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, you don't. Okay, wow. Maybe the one in Verdant Turf Town or Waverage has some. I don't know. Okay, so yeah, let's talk to Watson. Oh, Steven, you look like you're having a wise zip. Uh, that's a good thing. Waha. Fine, I've decided. I need a favor, Steven. Marvel City has an underground sector called New Marvel. Steven, I'd like you to go there and switch off the generator. The generator has been running a bit haywire. It's it's go, it's getting unsafe. Here, take this key to get to, into New not new Marvel. Okay, uh, obtain the basement key. Cool. Put the key out of his pocket. Uh, don't you worry about it. I won't be a challenge to you. It won't be a challenge to you. The entrance to New Marvel is just a short surf away from Route 110. That's it. That's all you have. Then you then that's it. Then you have my trust. Waha. Okay, cool. I'm gonna um. Do I have to put an item in the PC real quick? Um. No, I don't actually. I'm gonna heal up real quick though. So yeah, be right back. Okay, so we're gonna do just that. Go to the um. The uh, new Marvel in the next part. This has been then my Pokemon Ruby redo walk the apart. The next part will take on new Marvel and hopefully uh, get the charcoal from Leverage Town. And I'll cut to Leverage Town. I guess I probably won't get off screen now actually. And I'll get um hopefully buy more Super Balls and whatnot. We, we actually had to head, head east to um east of Marvel to get to the next route to advance the game. That's where we have to go next. So yeah, so this has been Giant Go again. I would like to thank, thank you for watching. Goodbye and hope to see you guys next part my Pokemon Ruby redo walkthrough guide. <laughs>